world's a little weird, you might still be a tad anxious, God knows I am, and I still can't reinstate my in-person yoga classes. So here we are. Hi everyone, it's Hannah with a short yoga practice focusing on releasing stress and anxiety. This is all level friendly from I have never done yoga before to I can walk on my fingers because walking on your hands is basic. So grab your mats or a towel or whatever else you're practicing on and let's get started. So today's practice is mostly pretty low to the ground. Uh, and you'll notice that a lot of yoga practices for anxiety do start seated. However, I find that starting standing tall is a nice reminder that we are strong, stronger than our anxieties, our stress, or whatever else that's really bothering us. So we will begin a little bit closer to the uh, front of our mat. We will be in Tadasana or Mountain Pose. So you can either have your feet together uh, or you can have them hip width apart if you want a little bit more stability today, entirely up to you. So right away we start to notice your posture, are we perhaps standing a little bit funny? Is one shoulder a little higher than the other one? Uh, are we standing a little bit here? So maybe just gently tuck the tailbone in and under and draw the shoulders up, back and down, away from the ears, chest is open, arms are by our side and we breathe. So start to focus on deepening your breath. You can soften the gaze of the eyes, or if you feel safe to do so, you may close them. On your next inhale, you will bring your arms up high overhead. Exhale, drop them slowly. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, drop the arms down. Inhale up, and on our next exhale, we'll actually go into a forward fold. So on your exhale, fold from the hips, bend the knees slightly, and we come all the way down to a standing forward fold. Now, wherever you are, you might be able to touch the ground, you might be a little bit higher. Um, if you're a little higher, feel free to create a more generous bend in the knees to get a deeper stretch. But wherever you are, just gently shake the head loose to make sure you're not holding any tension in the neck or lifting the head. And we're still breathing as deep as we can. On your next inhale, we'll lift halfway up, back is straight. On your exhale, we will fold once again. Now bend the knees enough so that you can place your palms onto the ground and we'll slowly walk the feet back to a plank. Right away, gently drop your knees to the ground, bring your feet in together, walk your knees as wide as your yoga mat, and push the hips back as we meet in a child's pose. This posture is always described as really restorative and it definitely is. So really take advantage of that and breathe deep. On your next inhale, we'll slowly roll back up. Bring the hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips, and we will meet in a neutral tabletop position. Now, from where we are, try to really uh, think of how you're distributing your weight. So don't crash into the wrists. Really open up the fingers and have a wide base for your wrists uh, and really claw your fingertips so that you're not, like I said, crashing the wrists. And also use the tops of your feet to um, evenly distribute your weight across all four corners. And from where we are, on our inhale, we will drop the belly, look up, opening through the chest for cow. Exhale, reverse, think of that angry cat cartoon, pushing your back up to point to the sky, really engaging the core to um, tuck the belly in. Inhale, reverse for cow, look up, chest is open. Exhale, curve the back. 
for cat. Move with your breath. On your inhale, you'll drop the belly and look up. Exhale, feel the back stretch. We're here for one more cycle of breath. And on your next inhale, we will meet in a neutral tabletop position. From here, we will slowly make our way to a seated position. And then from here, we will make our way onto our backs. Our feet will be flat on the ground. Knees are pointed upwards. Now think about keeping your upper body and your shoulders from the ground and we will, on our next exhale, drop the knees to the right. Inhale, come back up to center. Exhale, drop to the left. Inhale, back up. Exhale, drop to the right. And we'll keep going with our breathing in this windshield wiper motion. After the cycle that you are in, we will come back to center. On the inhale and on our exhale, we will drop to the right, but we will remain there. And you should really be feeling the back, especially the lower back, stretch the hips, uh, parts of the legs like the glutes. And if you feel like you would like an even deeper stretch, you can bring the right foot on top of your left thigh. And then before coming back up, gently drop the foot back down, come back to center on the inhale, exhale, we'll drop to the left. Again, an invitation to bring the left foot on top of the right thigh if you just want a deeper stretch. Bring the foot down, inhale, come back to center. Now bring your feet together and drop the knees to the outer edges of your yoga mat. And you can actually bring your hands here to um, the back of your head to create a little bit of support. And with your thumbs, feel free to give your neck a little massage. And we're still breathing. Now gently bring your hands to the outer edges of your, of your thighs and slowly close your legs back up. And then we will stretch the feet out long or you know, stretch the feet out to stretch the legs out long. And we will think of our posture once again. So slightly open through the chest, bring the shoulder blades, tuck them in a little bit. And we will have our hands by our sides very loosely. And we will meet in Shavasana or Corpse Pose. So try to get any fidgeting out of the way or any fixing of any sort. And then think of maybe, uh, maybe we're holding any tension in the neck or in the shoulders or in the jaw. Try to relax even the skin on your forehead. We're still breathing in really deep. 
and try to find stillness both physically and in your thoughts. Now we will gently bring movement back into the body, starting with a little bit of movement in the hands and the feet. You can eventually bring it up to an entire full body stretch. If you have a little bit more space than I do, uh, definitely use it and go all the way up uh, behind your head. We'll then start to slowly come back up to a seated position. I will turn to face you guys. And we will meet in Sukhasana or easy pose. So thank you guys so much for spending this time with me. I really hope this was beneficial in some form. Uh, this is the point where I usually ask my class to leave me any uh, requests or feedback. So definitely leave me your own thoughts and requests down in the comments below. But before we go, we will bring the hands together at the heart and gently bow the head to meet our hands. And we whisper, Namaste. I'll see you guys in the next video.